This is Highlight Reel for October 22nd, and we're here to show you some of the best recent clips from around the gaming world. Today we start off in Destiny, where many players have been trying to jump this massive gap known as the Hellmouth. Smile Before Death showed that it's actually possible, as long as you're a hunter. Then, your man Dan took on the Templar in the Vault of Glass by himself. There was an exploit allowing easy soloing before, but that's been patched out. If you aren't familiar, the fight requires using a special shield normally operated by one player while the others pour on damage. Dan had to do both jobs himself, while only being able to drop the shield for a few seconds at a time. After some close calls and a whole lot of patient shooting, he manages to finish off the boss by himself. Also in Destiny, this phalanx reacted to Donkey Sean's melee attack like he was a Dragon Ball Z character. In Alien Isolation, Dawn was hiding in this air vent when the Xenomorph found him. A quick blast from a flamethrower and he's trapped with the Xenomorph corpse. And now, a message from Akoth the Massive. Artist and YouTuber Frico was playing around modding The Last of Us when he deleted the character models for Joel and Tommy. It turned the first events of the game into an eerie ghost story, leaving Sarah alone to explore the town. Part of the fun of early access games is that dedicated players get to be the first to break the game in ways developers never predicted. True to that mission, Miss Tato placed eight noose traps on top of each other and threw a cannibal into the contraption. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is the octo noose trap. I made it up. I don't think anyone knows about this. This has been Highlight Reel. Please remember to like and subscribe for more and to visit the affiliated clips in the description below. Highlight Reel premieres every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Got a game you want us to cover? Say so in the comments. And if you have a clip that you want on Highlight Reel, please send it to highlightreel at kotaku.com.